Hey y'all. <clears throat> so obviously, before I get into my discussion, I got glasses, um, mostly for distance. I have a really hard time seeing like at nighttime when I'm driving, and like, so I decided to finally get my eyes checked for the first time after ten years. Which, when I was a freshman in high school, I needed glasses for the same thing, seeing far away, and I hated them and never wore them. So now I'm at the point where I feel like I can't fucking see when I'm driving, so, um, I've had them for about a week now, so, get used to seeing them, I guess, though, I left for church last, yesterday, and, like, halfway through my drive, realized I forgot to put my glasses on, so, that's gonna take some getting used to, but, uh, yeah, so, that's that, um, what I want to talk about is, uh, the holidays, and being misgendered, and family, <laughs> Um, so, this Thanksgiving we spent with, uh, our close family friends, who we've done, I mean, we used to do Thanksgiving with them just about every year. Um, Grammy and Pop Up always went away to various aunts and uncles of mine, so, um, that wasn't like a consistent holiday together. So, yeah, Thanksgiving, our tradition has kind of been to do it with, with our family friends. And so it's the first year that we've done that, because last year uh, we were all with Pup Up, and the year before that they did it, but I didn't go because that was when I wasn't talking to my parents. So it's the first time in like my recent memory that I remember being there um, and all of us hanging out. So the past few times I've seen that family has been, you know, just in short glimpses, like my sister's graduation party or the family party this summer. So it was really fun to like spend time all together because honestly, they are more like family. They're like you know an aunt and uncle and cousins to me. Um, you know, we saw them all the time growing up, and so it was really awesome, you know, to be all together. But it also was just like I always. It's just so draining to me to be misgendered all the time. Because, like, I I just hate when it happens, and so I, like, am constantly conscious of, like, how I can avoid someone needing to gender me in a sentence. Like, if someone's trying to pass the salt, like, I will just be like, oh, here's the salt, you know, before they can say, hey, red, pass the salt, which I fucking hate being called red. I hate it. I don't have any connection to it. It's just, like, I hate hearing it. I don't... Obviously, I'd rather be called Red than be called Kayla, but uh, it's up there with, like... I know that that means that you can't say Liam, so... The frustrating thing for me is, like... They call me Liam, the two parents of this family, but then, like, also they call me Red when my parents are around. It's just, like, a really complicated situation of, like, what are you calling me? I don't know. Anyway, I will also try and avoid, like conversations, or, like, if my dad's telling a story, I'll, like, jut in before he has a chance to say, like, she did this. I'll be like, yeah, and then I was like this, you know, just because I just hate hearing it, and I feel uncomfortable every time I get called she, because then, like, my wheels start turning, like, oh, do I look feminine? Is there something about me that's feminine? Like, you know, I start to overanalyze a little bit. And I know it's just, like, habit for some of these people, especially my parents, um... Then we and then there was another like awkward situation where we were talking about like why boys take so long to poop or something like that, and it was just kind of like I felt like I didn't I couldn't add to the conversation because like obviously I'm a guy that poops but I'm not like a cis guy that poops and so they were talking about how like oh guys don't randomly have to poop because like if they're going to sit down to use the bathroom then they're probably going to poop, you know what I mean, like, just in general, like, they're not going to be peeing and be like, oh, I have to poop too, you know, like, when you have female body parts, you're sitting down to pee, and then you're like, oh, I, I guess I have to poop too, um, so, I felt like I couldn't add to the conversation, I really just, like, felt so weird in that moment, I started to just, like, shut down, just because it was, like, a very, very gender-specific, and I don't remember what else we talked about, really, because I was starting to f fold into myself, but... We were also talking, like, about something else that was very gender-specific, like, body part gender-specific, so it was just kind of like, I feel like I have, like, no place in this conversation, because I don't want to comment on, like, the female body side of it, because then that draws attention to the fact that I am not male-bodied, and it's weird, because I'm trying to get these people to take me seriously as male, <laughs> so, I don't know, the holidays, 
it just always kind of stressed me out a little bit about that. Um, I just hate being misgendered. I really do. At this point in my transition, if you call me she, why? <laughs> What's your intention? Um, yeah. Christmas will be hard because that was like the holiday that like you know the six of us always did together. Me, my sister, my mom, and my dad and Grammy and Papa because we all live together. So that that's gonna be a really big change for me. Thanksgiving, I didn't really feel that loss as heavily just because a lot of the time we were with the Moltons or we were with my mom's parents. And so, like, last year was one of the first Thanksgiving we actually did with Grammy and Pup-Up, so that I can remember. So Christmas is definitely going to be, like, the hard-hitting one emotionally for me. So, um, yeah, I think that's all I'll talk about now. I feel like I have, I have like, this, I want to, like, vent about something with my parents, but I just feel like weird. I always feel conflicted about talking about them online, because, like, I don't know. I don't want their only image out there to be that they're like this, but, like, some of the stuff affects me, but we'll see if I decide to talk about it. <laughs> anyway, um, hope you guys are having a great week, and I'll talk to you next time.